What's going on guys? It is another beautiful, beautiful morning at the Texas City Dyke. This water is just glass. The winds are calm. I don't have much time this morning to fish, but when the conditions are like this, man, sometimes you've just got to get that little window that you can and get out there and try and catch some fish. Yeah, so I don't have much time. Let's go fish. I know someday we could finally be I know someday we could finally be So I'm at the first spot. I always like to stop here. It's really close. It's got a good sand ledge that has some rocks down onto a drop. It's so always like just throwing out, taking some casts, drifting around it. It looks like they came in recently and uh, added more rock. It's definitely changed since the last time I've been out here, which wasn't too long ago. Wow, this water clarity is awesome right now. I can see the bottom. Some nice water out here right now. All right, guys, so that was spot one. Uh, there's some bait moving around, but I fished it pretty hard. Tried some top waters, you know, it's my normal down south stuff nothing here so i'm gonna go ahead and blast down to the next spot let's keep going this gorgeous day oh my gosh absolutely beautiful I've now arrived to swan lake i know last time i was in here i did see some redfish that's a redfish Redfish right there, tailing. There's his wake. Ah, come on, Red. Dang, well, there's a redfish tailing. I threw right in front of him. I think I may have hit, may have hit him. <sighs> I was trying to throw in front of him, but might have spooked him. That was definitely a red tailing right there, though. Really good sign. Really, really good sign. I've already seen a red. That's awesome. There's a little red right in front of me. There he is. There's another red. All right, we've got red fish in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just make some blind casts. It's cool though that I found some red fish. That's a red. Got, oh, that's a trout? What is that? It's pulling like a red, but it's flashing like a trout. Oh yeah, no, that's a red. Yeah, dude. There we go. I knew if I made a blind cast, something might pick it up. There we go. Haha, <laughs> cool. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, this guy might, oh, that's a pretty good guy. He didn't fight very hard, but dang, that was a fun guy for sure. There we go. Nice little red. All right, so check this guy out. 
pretty pretty red fish I saw a couple guys already swimming through here I knew there would be red cruising how the glare is on the water it's really hard to see into the water right now the water clarity is good but it's just really being able to see down in there and far enough that you could cast on those reds so I just took a blind cast along this little grass line and sure enough this guy picked it up fun little fight yeah <laughs> fish one of the day and I just got in the marsh I know I said that uh, <laughs> I would be targeting trout and flounder I just can't resist myself I find that I end up in the marsh and hunting for reds <laughs> it's just too fun to see these guys swimming in their natural habitat and then be able to hook up onto one of them it's just too cool well guys I was going to measure up that redfish and he flopped out of the boat and absolutely took off <laughs> oh I hate it when that happens but I was just really wanting to get a measurement on him it looked like he would have been right at 20 inches and so I was gonna let him go anyway but <laughs> I really wanted to see his exact measurement uh, turd there's a redfish right there uh, spooked him dang even casting quiet is pretty difficult guys I know it seems kind of silly but it's really not it's pretty difficult and this water clarity is absolutely amazing today it's just fun when it's like this looks like there's some commotion up in front of me there's a big red right there look at that guy beautiful Oh, spooked him on my lure. Dang it. That was a good size red, too. <laughs> it's, uh, man, it's tricky getting on these redfish like that. It is so tricky. Because you have to stay mobile and cover ground. But at the same time, these guys are just so spooky. Like, that's definitely a redfish. I'm gonna try and paddle up just a little more. Oh, man. That is my alarm to go home snooze for 10 minutes and then I got to get out of here ah all right let's do this let's see if I can hook onto one good size red there's one right there beside me all right I didn't spook him I can get him. Nope. Dang it, man. There's definitely red stacked in here right now. That is for sure. Yeah, that's a big red that's right there. That's a big, big guy. Gotta be super stealthy. Dang, dude. My lure hitting the water spooked him out. There's some more up there. Alright, let's see if I can get on those guys. There. A couple of them. Dang, dude. Spooked him with my lure. I even tied on a bug's lure to try and be a little more stealthy in the water. All right, guys. Well, that was the end of another episode of Kagan Fishing. It was short. It was sweet. Ended up hooking into a red and seeing quite a few of those guys. But yeah, so I got on a redfish and I saw a couple more. So you can't complain when you have a two-hour window to go fish and have to be back at the launch and home. So yeah, thanks again for watching another episode of Kagan Fishing. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>